I just got an email saying my new MacBook is ready for pickup at the Apple store. So here it is, let's unbox it. Oh no. I think the hardest choice I had to make when purchasing the new MacBook is whether or not I wanted the nano texture display or the glossy display. And I probably read every single post and watched every single video on the topic. And even though I did buy this one, I'm still not sure if I made the right decision. I think it's definitely one of those things where you have to experience it for yourself. So yeah, let's just get straight into the unboxing. Oh yeah. Let's flip this bad boy over. Inside the box is gonna be Brand new MacBook. Wow, this is actually pretty hefty. <laughs> and just my luck, construction has started right next door. So we got the design to buy Apple California. This is the cloth for the display. So big hint on which MacBook I ended up buying. Here is the power brick. Pretty standard, pretty thick. And then also in the box is the MagSafe power cord. This is a pretty nice high quality cable, but to be honest, I'm not gonna use it because I have a ton of USB-C cables that also works for all of my other devices. So I'd rather not just bring a specific cable just to charge my MacBook when, you know, USB-C works just fine. Here is the MacBook. I don't know why I opened it like that. So you can see it says MacBook Pro on the bottom. Oh wow, there's like a little smudge on the Apple logo. So let me just make sure that it comes off because if I'm gonna spend thousands of dollars on a machine, it's it's gotta be perfect, honestly. Yep, nice, it came out. <laughs> I ended up choosing the silver colorway because I wanted to switch it up. My M1 MacBook was a space gray and then my work computer is the M3 in space black. I really like the space black colorway to be honest, but I feel like the silver is a lot more classic, a lot more timeless. I also feel like I've been transitioning to a more lighter, brighter desk setup because I have like a white desk now and all my desk accessories are pretty white or light colored. And so I feel like this fits my aesthetic a lot more. And the way I'm planning on using this computer is, you know, I will be coding like a few little side projects just like I usually do, but it'll primarily be for video editing and content creation. And I feel like for that size, 14 inch is great and it's like good enough for me. And I know that because I've been doing everything on my 14 inch M1 MacBook. And I'm so excited to finally have ports on my computer because my M1 MacBook only has two USB-C cable ports. And now this one has HDMI, which to be honest, I don't really use that much, but I am really excited about having a SD card reader and then also having an extra USB-C cable port will be so clutch. It means I don't have to carry as much dongles and like USB-C hubs with me whenever I travel. The moment of truth, let's look at the screen. Oh yeah. Now some behind the scenes content creator magic. I'm gonna refilm that. Okay. Let's try it. Final take. Okay, so now let's set up my new computer using my old computer. One tip I saw online to transfer really fast is to use a high quality cable. So I have a terabyte of data to transfer over to my new computer and I know that's gonna take a while. So in the meantime, let's go over to my desk setup because I need your help with something. All right, so this is my current desk setup. Let me just walk you through what I have so far. So I have my desk essentials, monitor, light bar, light, self-warming mug, notebook, pencil. I have the Keychron keyboard that I mentioned in my last video. It is a Alice layout and it has the numpad on the left-hand side, so it's a lot more ergonomic. What I really love about this keyboard is that it actually has a USB-C receiver. So basically, whatever gets plugged in gets hooked up to the monitor, the keyboard, and the mouse, which is the Logitech MX Master 3S. And it's so perfect because before I had a keyboard that I had to like manually pair to whatever computer was connected. But now that all my accessories have USB-C receivers, I can just plug it into this dock. And basically whatever computer is plugged into this cable will connect to basically everything on my desk, including the webcam too. So super perfect, super handy. Let me sit down so you can see what I see when I look up. Basically I have these three Ikea pegboards. It has a few of my accessories. Like I have my cables up here, I have notebooks, I have my cameras, but it also functions as like just making my desk setup a lot more aesthetic and more colorful. I have a desk drawer that's super unorganized, so I'm not gonna open it, but it has a ton of accessories like USB cables, camera gear, hard drives, etc., etc. And then something new to my desk setup is these shelves up here. 
Now these are from Grove Made and I've been wanting these shelves for a long time so I'm super happy to have them. Oh, before we talk about these shelves, I want to talk about this shelf which is also from Grove Made. It's their desk shelf and basically it allows me to add so much more stuff to my desk without really creating a lot of clutter because there's a drawer in here, like I have pens, I have my chapstick, and uh, post-it notes in here. And I can easily put it away when I don't need it. And then I also have a lot of space underneath, so if I ever need to like shove my keyboard aside so I have more space over here, I can easily do that. This keyboard is a little bit too big though, so it does, doesn't go as far in as I wish it would. And then it also creates this inner space over here where I have like books and like my controls for lighting or my walking pad is all in there and because they're made from the same company it kind of like ties up my whole desk aesthetic look Let me grab this seat so i can show you what i got up there basically i really wanted shelves to kind of fill up the space because when i shoot vertical content it's like super it was super empty over here and still trying to figure out how i'm going to style it but i basically have bunch of colorful books, I have my Google hat, I have some electronic stuff. I have a DJI drone that I won from another YouTuber, shout out to you Creator Drews. And then also I got this Game Boy Color. And so when people see my desk setup, they kind of know like, oh, I'm a software engineer and I make tech videos. That's the kind of vibe that I'm wanting to achieve with my desk setup. And then the thing I need help with is I have no idea what to put in this space right here. So I asked on my Instagram story, like what do people think I should put up there? And a few people said art. Someone said a retro clock, which I really like the idea. I thought it'd be cool to have a conclave mirror here so that like if I were to take a picture at my desk, it would basically like be a reflection of me at my desk. If you have any ideas of what I can put there, do let me know. I guess they're vacuuming the halls now, which is again, just my look. <laughs> Finished at 221 and the computer is now going to restart. And on this one, it says migration complete. So perfect. All right, so now it's asking me if I wanna do file vault disencryption. Actually, let me just finish this part up real quick and then I'll check back in in a minute. Dude, I can't get over how good the screen is. Like it's so bright in here right now and can't see my reflection or anything. So this is like my first time restoring my MacBook to a new computer because the last time I bought my computer, I actually started from scratch. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed. Like everything transferred over, even like my Chrome tabs that were opened on my previous one, they opened up on here as well. So yeah, I mean, honestly, this has been pretty sweet. I haven't run into any issues at all. Like it's basically everything I had on my old computer is now on here. Like even Google Drive is syncing, my photos, super seamless experience and I have no complaints. I'm starting to work with a gym here in San Francisco, Fitness SF. Oh yeah, so now that I don't have to worry about reflections, like, you can easily see my computer without me having to turn up the volume on max or anything like that. But basically I have a bunch of clips here from the gym. Now all I really gotta do is do a voiceover. So typically I would plug in the microphone directly into my phone and then I would transfer it over to my computer. But now that I actually have a bit more time, I wanna try plugging the microphone directly into my computer. I mean, this is not a video test by any means. I mean, my old computer could handle this pretty well. It's super simple, but I just thought it'd be cool to kick off my new computer with the project. Testing, testing. Okay, it's working. This is nice. I can see myself recording. Doing voiceovers is super awkward for me, even though I've been doing it for a while. I feel like you have to pump up your energy levels just to sound normal. Kind of similar with videos, but I feel like with voiceovers, you really gotta do it because, you know, people can't see your expressions or anything at all. I know a lot of my voiceovers are super monotone, so that's like something that I've been working on. I like the concept of a winter arc where you get a head start on your New Year's goals. So one more thing I wanted to talk about is this is a four terabyte hard drive that I brought with me to Japan and it has all of our footage on here and I actually have one terabyte of footage from Japan. I've been so busy that I haven't had a chance to go through the footage and I think honestly I have so much footage which has also made it like a bit of a daunting task like I didn't want to start because I just so much to go through right but I want to get up my Japan vlog soon and I think it'll be nice to go through the footage because I had a really great time and so the reason I'm bringing this up is because I decided to pay for the four terabyte upgrade in my MacBook Pro and I think it's like a thousand dollars more which I know is so wild. Like that's so much money to pay for hard drive space, especially when this is like so much more affordable and it's four terabytes and I can have multiple of these, but I don't know. I just, 
I don't like the idea of needing to bring an external hard drive with me if I want to work on like large projects. So I said, you know what, I'm just going to buy a 4 terabyte hard drive and so I don't have to worry about space for a very long time. I'm looking forward to just being able to go through all the footage, tag it, and then hopefully that will make it a lot easier to put my vlogs together. I think I also plan on making a lot of short form content from these videos. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. So I just realized I made a mistake earlier. I said that I had a 14 inch MacBook Pro, but this is actually a 13 inch. So that's why the screen sizes are a little bit different. And actually that would explain why this one is a little bit more chunkier too, but Overall, still very happy with the 14 inch. Right now, I wanted to test out the nano texture versus the glossy screen. So you can already immediately tell the difference. Like I'm in direct sunlight on this computer and you can see a lot of reflection over here. So I wanna show the difference between the two screens by slowly moving the table into direct sunlight so you can kind of see the difference. But I mean, you can definitely say that the nano texture is a clear winner. And this one is in direct sunlight and I can see the screen perfectly. And this is exactly the kind of computer I wish I had in college. And I would have loved to do my computer science coding projects like out on the lawn instead of like being stuck indoors all day. So I'm really happy I went with this choice. This is just my first impression on the screen. I'll definitely be giving it a more thoughtful review later on. So feel free to subscribe and follow along for that journey. Hey, it's editor John here. I'm working on this video right now and I'm going through it and I wanted to give a special shout out to my friends over at Hollyland for sending me the Alark M2, which is the wireless microphone kit I've been using in certain parts of this video. And I'm going through all the footage right now and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with it. One of the things that really surprised me about creating content is that I always just thought it was better or like the best thing to do was to have a really high quality camera. But actually the most important thing is to have high quality audio because people can sit through a choppy image but if they can't hear you, they're not gonna stop and listen to what you have to say. So audio is so important. This is a wireless mic system that's tiny, lightweight, and super easy to use. I mean, look at this, it's super compact. You can see how tiny the actual transmitter is. And it comes with this charging case, so you never really have to worry about running out of battery. So I got the combo pack, so it comes with a lot of accessories. I have clips to clip on the microphone. You could also wear the microphone as a necklace. Earlier in the video, you saw me using the microphone with my iPhone and my computer, and the way I did this was using this USB-C connector. If you're looking for an easy way to upgrade your audio, look no further than the Hollyland Lark M2. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Trust me, the Lark M2 is more than just okay.